Alrighty, folks. Back to the drawing board. Uh, I've got all the floor. That's the old floor. I got it out. This is the new floor. Went with 5 8 inch. Untreated. But I'm going to do the same as I did with the that over there. I'm going to put the uh, deck sealer on it. Both sides and the edges and everything. But here's the floor. And uh, let's come on around through here. I'm going to show you what it looks like now. I did take those aluminum supports out. To give you an idea. That's what she looks like. I'm leaving the foam in again. Several so y'all are ever pretty much everyone i've seen in the videos have taken it out but i'm not going to and i'm gonna to try to find some kind of sealer to put over the top of it heck i might even put that damn flex seal over the top of it and that'll keep wash moisture from wickering wicking back up into the floor so because that's the purpose of the, the sealant on top of it to keep moisture out of your wood but anyway i took the uh those cross members out because they created airspace underneath the floor and it caused it to bend down let me get over through here there's a bunch of foam out of the sides bear with me while i get my flat butt up in this boat all right now here's that piece i was talking about there's where the rivets were and i didn't know they come out but see how much wider it is because those pieces actually just went to like right here the old pieces but now they're all the way up to the very edge of this seam and it'll go up to the front too you'll see this right here on my floor over here that's where i've got it kind of notched out so this is just a bucket to throw all the crap in i dug out of the sides all right i got a mow too while i'm at it there's my big bad top hat trailer good trailers right there if y'all ever need a good trailer get a top hat all right back to the floor you can really see how wide it is and of course there's the little notches for that uh one support coming across and that's that's it pretty much and then i'm just going to take my uh sealant and just paint it on right here on top of the uh tarp here and we'll go from there i'm gonna have a pretty lengthy video here i've had a couple of cuts different uh not cuts but different uh species on this one a lot of it's repetitive but you wanted to see the whole thing from start to finish so that's what i'm working on okay i'm back <clears throat> all right i got all this interior cleaned up again got all the extra foam out cleaned the floor pan up getting the uh the factory supports put back in this is the factory supports here yeah you can see they're real flimsy all right let me show you how to rivet these bad boys in maybe it's something y'all want to learn so i'm gonna see here if i can get this sucker to hold on that'll be good and there we go pretty simple drill bit just a size bigger than the uh diameter of the rivet itself Put it back in the actually i've straightened it up a little bit the factory was like way off center like a bunch of other things i found here so you simply drill you got your hole through there manual rivet gun make sure the size of the shaft matches the uh the nipple so yeah, that's the size it is so you put that straight through that hole, push it all the way down flush. And then two, two pumps. That's how you put in a rivet. Right there. Okay. There is the floor in now. It's not bolted in or riveted in, which I'm actually going to do. And I found, this is some of the factory rivets that were in the bottom of the boat that they didn't get cleaned out. So I'm going to probably go to local fastener shop and see if I can get some of those and they'll actually go you can see they'll go in right there where that cross little cross support is <laughs> oh bless me but uh and of course I'll take my drill bit and I'll knock it to one inch and that way I can't drill through the bottom of my boat 
but overall looking pretty good definitely looks a whole lot better than a half inch did and then we'll go ahead and get started on the front deck here and that's that's what's got me kind of thinking just how big do i want the front deck to be because my console it's pretty big and i just hate this big gaudy console but the way the steering cables are i can't really do much with it because the steering cables have to be used and you can see how long the steering cable bar is right there so i can't you know i've got that whole this that whole side up here i hope that's the right i have to be that far from the side of the boat for my steering to properly work i was going to put the you know put the console up here like this and then go out and that gives me uh, give me a little more room here but i can't because i have to be probably that's almost a i'd say 10 inches to a foot off the side of the boat or i'm not going to be able to have any steering so that sucks i mean i've i've, I've thought about just putting a tiller steer tiller steer on here even but with the height and the depth of the boat if I put a tiller steer on here, I'm afraid it'd be hard for me to see, you know. And I, heck, I've even thought about just putting a, the uh, stick steers in here and just putting me a seat in the middle. That'd be pretty sweet. But, you know, I'm probably going to end up just going right back to the way it was for now until I can get uh, better ideals wrapped around it. And there's them two pieces there that caused me to cut my dang floor so short got them laid in there and of course that's the wiring i'm going to completely redo the whole wiring harness i've got I actually about bought all the stuff up here it's all oxygen free wiring and that's about where we're at and again you can see here's the the plumbing for the live well which will go in the front and i'm going to end up cutting the hole out here and just see uh see what i can do for a live well because the one that the guy had in here you know as you've seen the previous video videos he cut the some bitch out with a uh, skill saw like a complete this guy was an idiot so but right now i'm getting ready to make a few modifications to this front deck frame and get it ready to go on here there's my I look like a trailer park trash here with all my crap i got outside here working on this boat but i gotta get going that's my 250 gallon home tank which i'm fixing to move to the opposite side of my house because it catches all the sunlight here and just grows algae like a i don't know what anyway i'm gonna try to get all these videos uploaded together here soon i've got so many that uh i'm starting to run out of editing time so i'm gonna have to get that sucker going all right hope you guys are enjoying and uh we'll be some doing some fishing here and here soon. I'm tired of working on this boat. I'm ready to get in the water and that's going to be tomorrow.